This tiny speck is the oldest and most distant galaxy ever seen by mankind. It's made up of stars, gases, dust, and dark matter, all held together by gravity. It's at least 13.5 billion years old. And this photo clearly shows individual star clusters for the first time ever. You can see between hundreds and millions of stars, all held closely together by gravity. NASA's James Webb Telescope, its newest and most powerful one yet, we looked at six of Webb's most recent images to see how NASA is using them to understand faraway galaxies. This is the telescope's first ever image of a planet outside our solar system. Scientists call it the HIP65426b. As far as planets go, it's one of the youngest. It's only about 15 to 20 million years old. Earth's age is 4.5 billion years. But this planet is nothing like ours. It could be as much as 3,800 times heavier. And there's no rocky surface, so no one could live there. It's basically just a massive collection of gases. This shape here is the planet's host star, like our sun. The bright light from stars often hides planets, making it difficult for scientists to even discover them. But Webb has a strong light filter called a coronagraph, which is finally allowing experts to study distant planets. The new telescope also sees infrared light, which exposes molecules like water, carbon dioxide, and methane, critical to life as we know it. And for the first time, Webb found carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system, about 700 light years away. This image shows the heart of M74, also known as the Phantom Galaxy. Its spirals are so well defined that scientists often study it to understand why some galaxies are shaped this way. This one sits in the constellation Pisces, almost face to face with Earth but 32 million light years away. NASA's Hubble telescope took this photo. Here, it's hard to see anything but clouds of gas at the galaxy's core. That's because Hubble picks up on ultraviolet light, which these gases emit. But Webb doesn't, so it can see what's happening underneath the gases. Webb has also revealed images of stars dying. These two photos show the same phenomenon under two different infrared filters. Here, we see the dying star, which scientists call a white dwarf. It's shedding its outer layers. These rings are made up of gases and dust. This star emitted them for thousands of years after it died. This brighter star is also dying. It hasn't started shedding yet, but it's orbiting the dwarf and spreading gases all around. Scientists say these photos are important in understanding what might happen if our star, the sun, died. And here, Webb captures star birth Astronomers call these the Cosmic Cliffs, located inside the Carina Nebula. That's a star-forming region about 7,600 light-years away, but still within our own Milky Way. New young stars up here are producing radiation and strong winds, pushing gas and dust downward in this gigantic cloud. Scientists say dust clouds like these are breeding grounds for new planets and stars. They're already seeing hundreds of them here. And they're also noticing new types of cosmic structures scientists can't identify or name, like this thing right here. The telescope is also uncovering more about the planets we're already familiar with, like Jupiter. This is the clearest image scientists have ever seen of its northern and southern lights, seen in red, of its hazes, shown in green and yellow and of its massive storms, like the great red spot shown in white here. It's a storm that's bigger than the size of Earth, with wind speeds about twice as strong as the most intense hurricanes. Scientists say seeing how storms on Jupiter work could help them understand Earth's weather systems too. 
the lightest spots in these images reflect high altitudes. With Webb, experts say they can determine the temperature at each level of Jupiter's atmosphere, and the gas is present. Until now, these thick layers of gas and dust have kept the planet's inner life a relative mystery. But Webb's images are so clear, they could help scientists change that. And while Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, NASA says Webb is finally giving us the chance to explore faraway planets as tiny as ours. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications.